Guys, before we start, did you know that the word burkini comes from burka and bikini put together? I'm sure they know because it's very they obvious. Just, she just said no! It's so obvious. What did you think it came from then? Hello, I'm Hafsa Lodi. I'm the author of Modesty, A Fashion Paradox, which is a nonfiction book that covers why and how modest fashion became a mainstream global retail trend. On the cover of the book is Maria Idrisi, who's joining me today. Uh, she is actually the first hijabi model in the world to land a global mainstream campaign in 2015 when H&M scouted you for the Close the Loop campaign. So it is amazing that we got her on the cover and that you are joining us today. Thank you. Thank you so much me. for thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Yeah. Tell me how did you enter this modest fashion sphere? Exactly what you said, yeah, through the the H&M campaign and then it all kicked off from there. How, actually, I, I've never yeah. asked you this. Yeah. What made you, as someone, because generally speaking, when we think of modest fashion, we just think of the hijab as well. But someone like yourself, how did yeah. you get into it? So into I think um, it? it's interesting, while researching for this book, I came across the term visibly Muslim. And it said that women who wear the hijab in the West are visibly Muslim, whereas women who may not are not not perceived as visibly mm. Muslim. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm one of those non-visibly Muslim. So what are the three takeaways you'd want someone to take from this book. Okay, so number one would probably link back to that is the modest fashion movement isn't a religious movement. It's mm. not a traditional Muslim Middle Eastern movement. Something that started as a trend but is evolving into a lifestyle that can attract women of all faiths and no faiths. It can attract everybody. There's something in the modest fashion movement for everyone. Second would probably be uh, Instagram as a vehicle for modest fashion has been so, mm -hmm. so significant in driving the movement to the mainstream worldwide audience. Third one is um, a lot of people say, why is all the focus on women and why mm. must women always dress modestly? But there's actually a lot of, uh, there's a, a upcoming male modest movement too for okay, men. Yeah. Uh, which yeah, a lot of people don't realize yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that. Yes. And um, there is, men can be more modest too. And it's not just something for women. The onus mm. isn't on women to just cover up. That's a big misconception. Yeah. Since 2015, when you kind of emerged on the scene, I'm sure you've seen it really develop. Mm. Where do you want to see it go next? I think the discussion around sustainability is something, especially in this region, that's not spoken about so much. Um, and I don't think a lot of people have enough insight into what it actually means and how important it is. The irony that we, spend so much money on our clothes and, and it's great you know if you're going to buy something quality then why not but yeah. then it's the consumption the over consumption yeah. that we and we still label it yeah. modest fashion because it covers us head to toe yeah but then is it really modest yeah. to be consuming so much yeah. as a muslim this is we know that this is not a part of yeah. our, our faith to be super consumers yeah. and we're supposed to be protecting and taking care of the earth yeah. so i think the conversation needs to be uh focused and looked into yeah. more sustainability so when can everyone get hold of the book? I know we just uh, launched at the Emirates Literature Festival this weekend, um, but it's actually launching March 19th in the UK, followed by the US and Canada, and hopefully the rest of the world, inshallah. Amazing, I'm so glad we got to do this. I know, this. thank you so much for being such a big part of the book, and thank you so much for being such a good sister. And oh, thank, thank you. you. And thank you guys for watching, and make sure you subscribe to Harper's Bazaar Arabia on YouTube.